Hi there, this is your Tuesday Thoughts video. We are Tuesday the 24th of May and I hope you're all doing well. Uh, as usual, I read the cards intuitively. I do a little card reading just to give the energy of the week, uh, perhaps possibly looking into something that relates to you. And it just gives us a little focus. And it's always interesting to see what the energies are around. I've just had a thunderstorm go past so it was like rumbling of thunder and I love that I love the the darkness and the thunder and the lightning and the rain and just the energy of it you know it's almost like God's angry and you know that whole big rumble where is it coming from so um, that was interesting that uh, the thunderstorm has passed now because I kind of wanted to capture a little of it during the reading I thought it might add to the atmosphere but um, it's gone. It may happen again. It feels like it's clouding a little bit more. Um, but I think initially, let's just get on with the reading. So as I usually do, I read the cards intuitively. I'll start with some tarot. I've got a few other cards here next to me, so we might look at those as well. I uh, hope you're all doing well. Hope you've had a nice weekend. I had a busy one. I was doing uh, one of my art shift workshops. And it was a really good workshop. It just amazes me each time how, you know, sometimes people haven't picked up a paintbrush since school. There was very much an element of school that was brought up in our session and how you are judged at school and maybe not schooled in using your creativity, but, you know, you're taught to draw a certain way and appreciate this and... Um, it doesn't give the freedom of expression that, say, for example, Art Shift will give you. It gives you the space and the openness to freely express. And in doing so, you teach yourself so much because whatever work is created has a message for you. So it was really interesting and really great to see uh, people get involved and people enjoying it. Uh, great feedback. Um, and also, it just shows you how important it is to work with that side of the brain, to work with the right side, the creative side. We're in the left side so much, we're logical, we're working in our businesses, we're working with life and providing for ourselves and looking after people and organizing things and attending things and scheduling things and going here and going there. And, and the right side of the brain is much more free flowing, much more freedom based. And it's much more receiving. So when you are creative, you tap into something else. You open a door to something else. And so particularly when you think about children as well, school going, you know, everybody's thinking back to their childhood and how maybe a teacher said something and repressed them. And, and you always remember that teacher that meant something, that looked at you and saw you and saw your possibilities and encouraged you and believed in you and you'll never forget those people and so it's important for children to be given that space to express to be given that space to be free our children now are coming in much more open it's a very different uh thing uh now for the for the populations that are being born on the earth they're coming in way more tapped in they're coming way more open and we need to be able to guide them through this uh, there is no boundary as such. Nice rumbles there. I do like that. Yeah. <laughs> and then the heavy shower. Um, so it's important not to um, categorize them in a sense, but to use creativity, be it music, be it art, be it dance, be it singing, poetry, song, writing, journaling, whatever it is they need to, to develop and express because they are full of this energy and not only are they full of their own physical energy, but they are open. And so there is streaming energy that's coming into them that we as adults particularly, it's what I work with a lot, is opening up to that other space and, and being at one with it and getting comfortable with it. And it was very much my natural state it still kind of is but for a lot of people it's very uncomfortable it's very not natural and it, people find it quite odd so um when the children appear and the children have all these ideas and expressions and and desires and and this 
connectedness to much more freedom and much more excitement and much more energy and much more expression and much more joy. You know, it's wonderful. We have to, we have to nurture that part of them. It's very good for their education. It's very good for decision making. It's very good for building confidence. All these things that you can bring forward into your life. And so we must nurture the right brain. We must pay attention to the right brain. We must help people link up to the right brain. And for adults as well, you know, you might have missed your chance when you were young. You know, no one encouraged you. Nobody saw the value of being creative. It's fundamental for your health. And it is a great tool uh, for mental health, for mindfulness, for just developing that connectedness to yourself which you lose in the world we're in today. Lesson over. So, let's see what the tarot has to say. That was my weekend. How did you get on? What did you get up to? Anything interesting? And I don't want you to think it is oh, interesting. I was wondering if we would get this because of the thunder and lightning. So that's, wow. Can we have another card, please, with a, a prominent, pivotal message? Okay. <clears throat> and as I said, I read these intuitively, so I'm just going to kind of, I've opened up my energy and I'm just going to go with what wants to be spoken, uh, what words want to come in. If anybody wants to join us, oops, two. Hmm. Hmm. So, I'll take those three as well. I've got quite a lot of cards actually. Maybe I'm just going to pick a dragon straight away. Sorry, I'm spending a lot of time shuffling. Um, but I think it's better I do it on camera than off camera so you can actually see that this is not pre-done and that we are just going with uh, what comes. But can we have a clarification on the message? Thank you. Mm. Okay, so I'll just show you that one before we talk about it. And I'm going to just ask for one more. I've got quite a lot of cards coming up, so I'll kind of s quickly go through, skim through is the word I was looking for, um, quickly go through them. Um, there we go. Mm -hmm. Not had this one before either. Okay. So, I was wondering if we would get this card, and here we have it. It is the tower. Now the tower can seem like a difficult card to have. Can you see we have the, uh, gosh, I need to do my nails. We have the um, lightning bolts coming down here. The tower is a card of breaking down, of things collapsing of us being shaken up. It's a burning down. It is a destruction. And I was thinking to myself, what if I got the tower card and it's it's stormy and thundery and lightning outside? How interesting. So in this card, I can see that we have two people who are fallen from the tower. So in a sense, there is that thing of, um, be careful of the tower that you build and be careful of the um, ideas that you build about yourself because you can, the tower can fall. You can fall from the tower. You can fall from the heights. So be aware of what you're building. Be aware of the foundations that you're on. You can see the water here at the front is very wavy. So there's a great storm happening here. There's a churning up. There's a, a movement in emotions. And you could say that possibly this is a personal breakdown 
where we spend a lot of time crying, expressing emotions, we have to let go of the old self. We'll have to rebuild. And the fire here at the top just shows us that, oh my goodness, it's absolutely pouring now. So the fire at the top, I love that, I love a bit of thunder. It just shows us a burning off. So sometimes you have to, you know, I have a incense burning over there. So sometimes you have to burn to release something. You have to, you know, burn the, the herb to release the scent into the air. You have to burn whatever it is that's inside of you. And like the phoenix from the flame, you can rise again. And so fire is a great transmuter. It changes something. You know, if you heat a pan of water, you're changing it from liquid to gas. So the heat can change something. And you've got the lightning strikes, which is the, the electricity, the heat in the air. Just like now, it's just so full of this energy, this electrical charge. And you can feel it and you can almost see it. And that's what's happening here. And it's having an effect. And it's having an effect. So it's sending us out of this tower, out of the safety and down. Sorry if you can hear my tummy rumbling and down into these waters. It's making us dive into the waters. It's making us dive into the ocean, into our emotional self. Ah, oh, lightning, lightning. It's so fascinating to have this card right now. And it means, you know, there's, there's different levels here. So we might be taken down a peg or two. We might have to come away from what we thought we were. We thought we reached the pinnacle, we reached the top, but you never get to the top. You always have to come down and start again. You always have to build again. If this collapses, they need to rebuild this. So perhaps something you thought was working wasn't quite working. Perhaps something that you had worked on, put together, built together, maybe as two. Perhaps you thought it was on solid foundation, but it wasn't. It was under watery foundations. And the water has, has moved these foundations. Water has great power in moving. And so it's pushed through. It's created these waves of instability. It's created these waves of destruction, these waves that come in over time and can wear away at a foundation. And so you've got two people falling and they're falling into the water. But in a sense, they are free. They are free of each other. They are free of the ideas that they had to stick by up here. They are free of what they built. It's breaking down. It's time for change. The next card is the Nine of Pentacles. And through change, you have success. Through change, you can have abundance. Yes, it's a woman here, but it can be a male or female. It's not necessarily about that. It's about the huntress. It's about hunting for what you want. Farming, um, working, uh, nurturing, uh, tending to the things in your life that will bear fruit. We've got lots of fruit on the trees here. We've got lots of uh, grapes and we've got all these coins. We've got like nine coins. So there's no problem with money. There's no problem with work. Work is here and we're doing our work. We're earning our keep and we're growing our money. We're investing our money. We're expanding our money. More lightning. And she has a castle in the background. So she has the home. She has achieved. She's connected to nature. And that's important as well. Remember to connect to nature. Remember to connect to the power of nature. And just hear the power of nature right there. You know, the power of this 
electrical charge, you might say energy, and it's within all of nature. When you connect to the land, connect to the plants, connect to trees, there is an essence around these. There is an energy that you can absorb. When you sit with a tree, it cleanses your energy. It is a great thing to do. It's an easy way to have a healing. Go hug a tree is not just, um, you know, a sentence to, to mock people with. Go hug a tree because it will cleanse your aura. It will bring abundance. It will free you up to accumulate, to build. This is rebuilding. So we've had the crash in the tower and then we've managed to take what we can and rebuild. And in rebuilding, we're receiving. We're receiving the fruits of our labor, which is money, the coins. There is no lack in this. So this might be scary, but it's leading to more than you had previously. And you can be stuck in your tower here. We do have the castle. We still have the castle. But rather than being stuck in a destructive situation, by jumping free, by letting go, by letting everything crumble, then you can uh, tend, I keep wanting to say toil, toil the soil, but it's not toil, is it? I think this happened before for me. Till, till the soil. Um, and tend to these, these vines, they will deliver. And with the bird here, the hawk, you've got freedom. You've got freedom, you've got a hunting animal. You've got an animal that will return to you, an animal that is trained, there's training involved. There's cleverness, there's intellect as well. So the next card is the Knight of Wands. So the Knight of Wands points to a young fire sign. It's not as young as the page, but it is a young fire sign and it's galloping in. And he's creative and he's charismatic and he's passionate and he's galloping into your life. And he's on his cloak, he's got lots of stars. So he's coming in with star quality. He's coming in with charisma and charm. He's coming in and you're going to notice him. And he's got a wand for you. He's got this gift, this wand, this, he's saying, I want you and I'm going to give you my wand. I'm going to give you, you know, my passion. I'm coming in with this offer of passion and I'm coming in quickly. So be prepared to be aware of somebody who comes into your life quickly. Things might evolve quickly. But be careful because things can burn quickly. They can burn out quickly. So the fires can explode, but then they can die down and burn out. And that can lead to heartbreak. It can lead to sadness. It can lead to worry, worry of the heart. It can lead to a period of stagnation and overthinking and feeling heart broken and stabbed in the heart. So be aware of this. Be aware when, you know, something comes in and if it's just overwhelming and very exciting, be aware of the change that that will bring to your life. The influence. It can be three people who are involved here. We've got three swords. So it can be that uh, perhaps you were in a relationship and someone else is coming in and stirring things up. Uh, the Knight of Wands may be stirring things up. Maybe trying to break something up. There might be three people involved. There might be a tug of war with love. And yet, there is room for transformation. There is room for angelic help. There is room to tap into the divine heart here. Uh, there is uh, tons of little butterflies the whole way around this arch. And then you've got the, the seagulls here. So there's, 
there's an opportunity to to be lighter to lighten to move higher with your thinking your expression to take the worry out of it to take the heaviness out of it you're being gifted uh, this uh, kindness and and tenderness and um, I want to say like security or care from the higher realms because of this. So you might be going through something which is difficult, but you are surrounded in a transformation. So th there might be a period of that the relationship, for example, is not working. Something that is heart centered, that is connected to your heart is not working. Is not working with the way you, sh you wish it had, you wish it was. Um, and it could be because there are other people involved and it's just sticking, it's just not working. There's other people's opinions, other people's ideas, other people's thoughts on things. And it's just not allowing for the heart to open. And we've got the same way, we've got the hawk here, we've got the eagles here. So it's about going higher. Bring your energy higher. Don't get too down in the dumps with this. Bring your energy higher. And from that, then, we have these three were at the back. So the first was the Queen of Pentacles, the next was the Fool, and the next was Temperance. Let's start with the Queen of Pentacles, because I just thought, mm, I don't want to end on the uh, Three of uh, Swords, because it's a, it's a bit of a difficult, you know, card, it's a bit hard. And it can point to, you know, thoughts about relationships, how you think relationships should be, and... You know, if there's an ending in this relationship with the tower and then you try and find yourself and build yourself back up again with the nine of pentacles and then the knight of wands comes in and sweeps you off your feet but then leaves you or or you get involved in this, this three-way thing or there's, you know, other people and other relationships or, you know, it's just, it's just not working for you in whatever sense, then I thought, so so what do we do with that so i just ask another question and we were getting the queen of pentacles so this is who you return to you return to yourself uh, male or female and you return to your pentacle and you return to your power and you return to your confidence your stability it's very much the taurian card here you can see what the uh, the bull heads here on her throne but she's on her throne she's secure she's safe she's uh she's loving she's wearing green all over so she is loving and she's got roses on her uh her cloak so she's expressing love uh femininity uh true love i would say strong love real love maybe not wispy knight of wands love where someone comes in and just showers you with you know love bombs but she's looking for mature love she's looking for decent love she's looking for real love strong love foundational love partnership someone who can match her she's a queen the knight is no good to her she's a queen you know she's she's risen the ranks she's in a fertile period you know she's got the rabbit here as well and all the flowers so she's blossoming she's developing she's expanding into herself she's very much in her own power so this is where you have to return to. Return to your own power. Oh, it was this one next. And then you have the Fool. So the Fool can point to Aries, I understand. And the Fool is new beginnings. So yes, you may have had a bit of heartbreak from, from this knight who went rushing in and tried to uh, charm you and then rushed out again or didn't deliver anything more than charm but now you have a chance after developing and finding your position again finding your place of power stamping your feet you know like like the bull it kind of grinds grinds the earth it stamps on the earth and it's saying actually you know i've put my feet on the earth i've built this i'm strong you know, I've got this. She's ready. She's fertile. She's available. 
but she's wanting something that's much more interesting and much more solid and much more um, matching her. She needs her part. She needs her king. And so we've got the fool. So the fool doesn't point to the, 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 the young man that's coming in necessarily. It fo but points to the energy of the fool, which is the energy of new beginnings, the energy of taking a risk, the energy of happily walking off the cliff, knowing that you're taking a risk into something, knowing that you see freedom ahead of you and you're prepared to go for it. And you've got the company of the dog here. So there's this companionship. There's this lightheartedness. There's this loyalty to this part of you, to this person, this, this in, the internal being who needs to express, the internal being who needs to go on his journey. The internal being who is, by embodying the fool, is changing things, is transitioning. The, the butterfly is transition, transformation. So we've gone from the uh, caterpillar into the cocoon and now the butterfly flies free. And we've got the sun pouring in. So there's so much light involved. There's so much light and solar power. And the sun has come out now and the sky is blue again. So we've got blue skies again. We had the destructive storm in this reading. Literally, we had it. And now the sun is out. And we have the sunshine again. So the sun will shine again. The sun will warm your back. And see in his hand? He's got a little rose. So that's a rose of peace, a rose of friendship, a rose of companionship and a rose of love. So he is coming full of heart, full of joy, full of fun and freedom and adventure and it just makes me want to sing it makes me want to think yes let's do this let's take this chance take a chance walk off the edge of the cliff and that's classically known as leap of faith take a leap of faith go into it a little bit you don't need to dive headfirst into anything, but just give a little bit. Just go in, just taste it. Just take a step. One step leads to another and leads to another. And then you can transform your life. And that's where temperance comes in. No rushing. Keeping one foot on the ground. Stepping into the water. So opening your emotions again, connecting with your emotions, but doing so from a solid place, doing so from a place of solidity, foundation, solid foundation, doing it from your throne, allowing yourself to tap into your emotions, allowing yourself to find the balance in your emotions, bringing in your angelic support, bringing in the light, and as usual with a storm, when it clears, often you see the rainbow. And the rainbow brings the gold. So there is always hope. There's always hope when something is destroyed, when something collapses, when it burns to the cinders, when it's then washed away, the ashes are washed away. Then you work and you build and you watch it grow again. You watch your self-esteem grow. There's so much yellow in this, so it's self-esteem. You build your confidence and self-esteem and you've done it for yourself. And that's attractive. So people will want to come in and get a piece of that and connect with that because it's very alluring. It's very enticing. You know, it's something that uh, makes people want to connect with you. It invites in connection. But if it comes in and out too speedily, it can lead to heartbreak. So protect your heart. But allow all previous heartbreaks to transform you. Allow them to help you involve, evolve. Allow them to help you get involved. You've learnt your lessons. You're not going to make the same mistakes. You learn every time. So this is almost saying, go again. 
Go again. Yeah, you've had three swords. Doesn't matter. Go again. Because there is transformation in this card. So many butterflies are surrounding this. Transform the pain. Move out from the pain into who you really are into your yourself because you you're not different you still have all the qualities of the nine of pentacles and actually move in and you're a queen you're top rank you have power you have created so much so feel free to take a risk again feel free to take a leap of faith Feel free to take all of that experience and let it transform you. Maintain balance. You get through the storms and the rainbow comes out and the sun begins to shine again. And that's the key. Maintain balance throughout. Don't be swayed. Don't let anyone influence you. You are the master. You are the master of your emotions. You're the master of your world. So bring that frequency in, bring that angelic power, that divine assistance in and help, use it to help you balance your life. Then you're in a steady way forward. So I just uh, picked two um, dragon cards because I thought, let me just get clarification on that because I wasn't sure where it was going, but actually it's quite nice. And the first card was the golden orange dragon. Now, as you can see with this one, I was mentioning earlier creativity. And this, this dragon does tend to come out when we're talking about creativity. And so you can see that he is journaling and he is writing and he is expressing and perhaps drawing as well. So it is back to that, you know, the orange color is your sacral chakra and the orange color is all about uh, creativity. So there's a necessity to be creative and maybe be creative with difficult situations. So if something difficult happens, then you might have to think creatively about it. You might want to journal about it. You might want to use art to get your emotions out. You might want to use the energy of the sacral chakra. Find out more about it, what it means to you. And it says, it says, the golden orange dragon, expand your light for ascension. So ascension is when we and the planet are shifting dimensions and we're all moving to the fifth dimension. And that is occurring now. And uh, we're all gradually uh, being upgraded and our frequency is rising and we are changing as human beings and the planet herself is changing as well. And we've seen nods to that throughout um, the last what 50 years so our, our world is a very different world and we are going to do so much more even in the next couple of years that's going to transform who we are as people so that would be ascension it says be a peaceful warrior help those in need and remember your magnificence and that's the thing like if you're ever stuck in kind of depression or sadness or loneliness get out and help somebody else Use your time and energy and just help somebody else because that can give you great rewards. It can really help you overcome things. It can open you up to the world again. So if you are depressed or if you are feeling heartbreak or if you are wondering how you can go on and how you can take another leap of faith, helping others is a good way to start. You might think, well, how would I? You can help someone across the road. You know, you can help by opening a door for someone. You can help by lifting somebody's shopping if it looks too heavy for them. Little things. You don't have to go and volunteer for this, that or the other. Little things will accumulate and you will feel a sense growing within you of being of service and the, the, the joy that that can bring you. And that will remind you of the wonderful being that you are and how important you are. And your person in the fabric of society, in the fabric and the, the blueprint or the, the matrix, I want to say, of the world, your beingness is so important. So important to it all. Without it, it would not be. 
So you're magnificent. And it's to remember that. And remember, it's like spices. You know, I bought some spices today in the shopping. Spices add flavor. They add a different flavor. Herbs, different flavors to the, to the dinner. And so without you, without your essence, that flavor would be missing. So it's important. It's important to nurture yourself. Feel able to assist others in whatever way you can because you will understand how good it feels. And actually being kind helps your body physically. It actually reduces inflammation. So when you're kind to another, it reduces inflammation. And often uh, certain uh, issues, even mental issues, can be causes of inflammation. So we want to reduce the inflammation caused by inflammation. So we want to reduce that. Um, so being kind, being of service, and that will remind you how important you are. Very nice. Very nice. And this card, which I haven't actually seen before, Deep Blue Dragon. It looks like a very helpful fellow. And there's still a lot of orange in that. And fire, actually. And sort of like waves. So fire and water again. Two classic elements. So transformation, fire transforms. And it says the deep blue dragon keeps you safe by clearing your pathway. Trust that you are protected and walk on a path of light. So this dragon is clearing your pathway. So whatever you've been through, whatever heartbreak, whatever destructiveness you've been through, Understand that sometimes you have to have your pathway cleared. Sometimes the people who are in your life need to be cleared out of your life. Sometimes it hurts and it's destructive and it can be like a, a death. Sometimes even if, if a person hasn't died, they've just moved out of your life, you can feel an intense amount of grief for what you had, what you've lost, uh, the, the lacking of having someone to express your emotion to, to express yourself to, to converse with, to express uh, physically with. And so we have to remember that people are moved out of our lives for certain reasons. And often it's to clear the path, to clear so we have the new adventurer who can come in. So we have freedom for this new adventure to walk into our lives. We have to have a clear path. We have to let go of the old. We have to stop holding on to old relationships. Trust that you are protected. Walk on a path of light. So ask for protection from the deep blue dragon and it will make sure that you're protected. We do have to risk a little. So the fool is about taking the risk. So you always do have to risk a little when you try and get involved in a relationship again. But surround yourself in protection. I'm wearing deep blue today. Interesting. Uh, surround yourself in deep blue protection. Invite the dragon in and ask it to be with you and protect you as you go about your day. Walk a path of light. So again, be in service. Help other people out. Contribute to the world in any little way that you can because it all adds up. It all has meaning. You know, when someone opens the door for me, or even nowadays, you know, you don't often see it sometimes, but actually I see it quite a bit where a man will stand back and let you go first. And I appreciate that. Even if it's getting on the bus, he'll stand back and let me on and I'll say thank you. Because it, chivalry is nice, but it's, it's, it's not even that. It's, there's a communication there. There's a, I'm offering you to go ahead and I'm saying, and thank you, I'm going to take that. There's, there's a, a, a dynamic conversation that's, that's not spoken, that is had there. So it is about human beings um, being with each other in that way, integrating, communicating, tuning in. It's about being okay to receive that from someone. And, and as much as, you know, if I see someone and I want to let them go forward, I'll say after you. Because 
you know, it's fine. It's okay to give way. It's okay to let somebody come in. Sometimes it's the right thing to do. Sometimes it's the path of light to offer that space to somebody else. Okay, so that's it for today. Have a lovely Tuesday. If you do want to get in touch with me, just uh, email Karen at karentony.co.uk or check out my website, karentony.co.uk. Otherwise, I hope to tune in with you next week. Have a wonderful week. I hope the sun continues to shine. It's the most beautiful day now. It's so strange. It just, uh, and I'm glad we got some of that during the reading. It's, uh, I find it quite exciting. And, and yeah, you know what happens when the rain comes and the storm comes and it clears? You just feel so much better. You just feel really good. So I hope you feel really good this week. Enjoy. Take care. Lots of love. Bye-bye.